Is that what you're looking for? You're looking for some of that jiggle stuff, the old uh, jitter text, wiggle font. Yeah, me too. And there's a lot of really good tutorials out there. The problem is the effect is just kind of like this shimmering, I guess you could call it wiggling, but not, yeah. Not like this kind of wiggle though. I'm gonna show you how to do this wiggle. We're just gonna need to jump over to After Effects. Come on, guys, After Effects. What, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go to After Effects? Yeah, me neither. We don't need After Effects, but we will need a smartphone. I have an iPhone here. You could use a tablet, an iPad. We're gonna be drawing on our phone. <laughs> What we're gonna do is load up an app called Animation Creator. If you don't have this exact app, what you're gonna need is an app that lets you do animation because we're gonna make an animation. I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So we're gonna open up this app, Animation Creator, and we'll get this thing going. You can see I made a couple already, but we're just gonna start fresh. So let's say new. This is the key here. You wanna always learn to scroll down. I learned that the hard way. A lot of options down here. We're going 4K. This is the biggest one. It'll give us a little warning. That's okay. Now that we're in the app, we're gonna go here and once again, scroll. We're gonna edit animation. This app is gonna have a, a couple little things. There's some drop downs and some little pop-ups. And like I said, this app would be ideal for an iPad because you have a lot more room to work. You can kind of see I'm like, so if you had something like a stylus, this might help. And I'm gonna try this for this tutorial right here. So just give yourself a second, check out some stuff, get familiar with the app, but I'm gonna show you the basics here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the background dark and that's so we can key it out later in editing. We're gonna do like a luma key effect on this and then we'll make the color, let's go pink. We have a couple pen options here. This is what's tough for this specific app. I haven't figured out the right pen. I noticed if you use the pencil, it gives you like this sharp edge that I don't really like. The ink pen has a different effect as well. You can kind of see it here. It's kind of cool, I guess. Now we're gonna write that wiggle effect. So there we go, we have it written out once. The stylus really helps, by the way. And of course, as you can see, I'm working with a very small space. You can do two fingers and zoom in if you wanna do detailed, but a larger iPad or something would probably be more helpful, but this works. So we got that, we're gonna hit the up arrow and we're gonna go add. And it's gonna create a new layer and we're gonna still see our font behind it and we're just gonna trace. We'll rewrite it and if you mess up, you can go back there we go. And I try not to get too off, like you don't wanna make each letter too different than the other. It just, I guess, unless you want to, but it kinda gives it a crazy effect. But it's your thing, you can do whatever you want. Go ahead and paint your happy little trees right here. There you go. Yeah, that's it, nice. That's my favorite part. All right, we've done it twice. I like to do three because I am afraid that if I do more, I'll go crazy. It's, it's kind of a tedious process, but you can take a risk for yourself if you wanna do more. Let's do this one last time. Wiggle effect. There we go, and then we got it. Let's play it back. It's gonna give us a little warning. We go, okay. Now you can see here it's gonna say 24 frames. This is what it looks like if it's 24. That's a little too wiggly. And you can also see that my the period there is kinda of crazy, but let's just dial it down. I found that eight or nine is the best for this. Now let's play that. There we go. That dot's moving around a lot, so we're gonna pause that, go back. I'm going to change that to the eraser tool, or erase that, try to get it closer. See if, boom. Uh, that's good enough. So let's play it one last time just to make sure. There it is, and there it is. All right. Now then, how do we get it off the phone and actually on our video? That's pretty easy. Let's jump over to the editor now. Open up your editor, import your video clips off your phone, and you have your clips. Now, you could set up your titles so the background is the same color that you want if it's a full screen title. If you're gonna do like a keying effect, we're gonna use like a Luma key, and you can see where it makes it background clear. It's just like any typical layer effect. This is gonna be a video clip so we can loop it as many times as we want that effect on screen. And there you go, you have your wiggly text. What do you do if you have a font that you wanna replicate, one that you aren't naturally able to draw very well over and over and over again. 
I figured out a way to do that. Jump over to a font website, and this one is 1001 fonts. Pick a font that you like. I like this Beyond Wonderland, so I'm gonna use that. We'll take a screenshot of that. So now we have that in our photo album. We're gonna bring that into the animator, use that as a background, and we'll trace it. So check this out. We'll make our new project, 4K. Got it. We're gonna edit animation. and We're gonna turn the phone sideways here. All right, so now that we're in, we're gonna push this little pop-up and we're gonna do our backdrop. You see this option right here, it says photo. Go ahead and click that. We're gonna to go to our photo library. We're gonna pick the one we just got. So there is our background, which is cool. So let's make our foreground font. Let's see here, blue? I like the yellow, I like the yellow. So there we go. And just like we did the other animation, we're gonna draw. Except this time, we're gonna trace this. So we can zoom in here, and it might not, ooh, that's really, that's a large, maybe this isn't the best tool for this one. Let's try the pencil tool, and you guys can see what this looks like. So we're gonna change the lid so it's small. Ooh, that's too small, there we go. Let's see what that looks like, and we'll hit back, get rid of that. All right, let's try this, so. All right, here we go. How many times do you want to uh, trace this? I'm gonna fast forward through this and save you guys the time. I'm living in a dungeon. All right, we got it. So there's our three things. We're gonna change our backdrop now back to black. So let's take a look at this, see what it looks like. Changes down to eight. And there it is. And it's in a font of your choice. So that is another way to do it. If you need to do it that way, I think that looks pretty slick. My Zoom H1 right here. I just made this, hang on. There it is, it's my animated Zoom H1. Isn't that cool? I used the same process as I did the text, just drew it and then redrew it, and then drew it one more time. Play it back, take a look at it, looks pretty good. Export it, and boom, here it is on video. How cool, guys, guys, seriously, right? If you haven't liked the video yet, this should... The fact that I'm still holding it. So there it is, I hope that was helpful. I know that I've been looking for a way to do this effect for a long time, and I think this is probably one of the fastest. And this doesn't even have to work for just text. You could get creative, I don't know, trace objects, do all kinds of cool things, and have legitimate drawn things in your videos. Something that I've always wanted to have more of in my videos. Go make something. So you can do cheesy stuff like that. All right, thanks again for watching. Knob Top. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe for future content and leave a comment if you have something that you'd like to see more of.